Hi there and welcome to this channel. This video is one that is a little bit somber and also very exciting because I bring reports that the wife of the executive governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Somolu, I'm talking about Mrs. Abike Somolu, has issued a very stern warning to one of our Nollywood actresses asking her to then you lay me, then you lay me. For those of you who don't understand Yoruba, literally it means move from my back. <laughs> okay, now what it is saying, according to news and reports, is that Mrs. Abike Somolu has spoken to Iyabo Ojo to leave her husband alone. Now, Iyabo Ojo is one Nollywood actress, filmmaker, very beautiful woman who is not new to controversies. She's always in the news for one reason or the other. And she's always been linked to one man or the other. Now, this time it is saying that the governor's wife is telling her to leave her husband. According to the statement, it read that, Yabo Ojo, please leave my husband alone. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. And she said it three times. She said she and her husband have been married for a very long time. And she met her husband when she was young. And it is because of her that it can become the governor today that she is now interested in and so therefore please release him don't make him do unlawful things leave him for me and i'm here like hey yeah but you really i mean she's been linked with men in the past she's been linked with dino melaye she's come out to lambast everybody that says she was saying you know dino melaye she's been linked with the nrtw boss she's been linked to a lot of honorable celebrities and the rest but none of it comes this heavy none of the women have ever come out for yabojo to say leave my husband alone and so it is saying that yabojo is seeing jide somoli and to make this even more interesting guys it is said that when she was really livid and she was very concerned and passionate about babai jesha's allegation when princess said babai jesha defiled a uh, foster child that she said she was going to sell her house she does not mind selling a house she would ensure that babai jesha remains in custody for as long as possible and that even when it was released and she was still very adamant that babai jesha needs to be punished and you know it needs to be charged to court eventually it's been charged to court and his trial is still ongoing by the way that what gave her that confidence is because she knows that whatever she tells the governor because she's a sidekick the governor is definitely going to do except he doesn't want to enjoy some honey right it has to do whatever she says and that it was under someone who's demands or commands that they left him in custody for as long as he stayed and then but the time when he wasn't really granted bail before they said they wanted to decongest the prison where he was jailed and then they had to let him go and all of those things he said that now people that people, <laughs> people that are making these rounds for this news that is making rounds are saying that they went to look for this gist because everybody they felt like Yabojo says a lot. Yabojo prides herself as somebody who can twist the hand of law, quote and unquote, right? So they needed to know that what is living inside you that is kilong benwe for you to feel this confident and for you to come and say a lot of things without regard and for anybody who tries to step on your toe for you to come for them 15 times if they talk if they talk to you once for you to, be able to talk to them 12 times so they were like okay like, we need to know what is happening with this woman we need to know where she's getting her confidence from we need to know who is foiling her who is funding her lifestyle and all that yeah but you has although come out to say that me as a woman i fund my lifestyle myself i have a lot of businesses i do she's a movie producer she has felt Prince world she has uh, abula sports she has things she does to make money she's even come out at one point to say one of the girls that used to work for her was trying to swindle her off her money and was trying to you know make money off her so she has avenues that make money for her and people are still saying that she's still funded by a man they are still asking who is funding her and this is their research that they did and found out that even mrs Sanwolu is no longer comfortable with the relationship between herself and her husband and is she saying that this woman should leave my husband alone because we were there from the very beginning and you were not there when we were trying and working behind the scenes to ensure that this man is this popular person that he is today you were not there you had no idea what it was like for us but now that everything is flowing with milk and honey you think it can just come because you have some 
what you know to come and just take this man from me this, this does not work that way although in Iabojo's defense i don't think that for any reason she would want to become the first lady of lagos state i don't think that for any reason or maybe when he leaves office she would still want to become his legal wife i don't think that's the aim of anybody that sleeps with a married man i think i wouldn't know but i really don't think because at that age she's obviously not looking for love she said it that she's not looking for love she's well in her 40s she's not looking for love she has the two children already she was in an early marriage and she got out of it as quickly as she entered it and she's been saying she's happy living a single life although of course there might be men that she's dating that we would not know of and they've not made very public and that is very understandable because she's a very public figure and it's very understandable if she wants to keep a private life especially when it comes to relationship and the person that she's calling lover very private right i feel like that's very understandable but now that people have found this thing and are saying that the first lady of lagos state is saying that iabo ojo should leave a man alone what do you guys think about this story right now let me tell you what i think i feel like iabo ojo has been in the industry enough times and for a very long time and it's no news that women are always linked with one man or the other especially when they say that they are beginning to get successful and they are unable to pinpoint so to say they can't fathom that these things they are doing is make can make them as much money remember i said that they said they were very worried like what is the confidence with this woman what is making her feel like yes she can speak out and talk about the ill that is being done in her industry and they said it's because she has the backing of the Lagos state's government governor and she feels like nothing can touch her as long as she's still sleeping with the governor now i don't know if it is true i'm not here about you i've not crossed to her I don't know her lifestyle. The same thing with the governor. I don't know if this is true. But this is what everybody is saying. This is what, not, not just everybody, because I'm sure you're just hearing it now. But this is what is being said in the corners and what we've been able to find out concerning here about you. They are saying that she's sleeping with governor. But if she's indeed sleeping with this, what is really our own business? Go safe. If it's the one giving her confidence, it's the one saying, go, 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 I'm behind you. In as much as it does not remove absorber and she does not, boom, just fall down flat on her ass. I say, go on, ma'am. And if for any reason she has a change of mind and she's like, okay, I'm done with you. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. She's actually, this man she's been linked with, maybe she actually has something to do with them and she has at the end of the day to just dump them because she's done and she's benefited from them enough. If that is what she's doing. And she does the same thing with Babajide Somolu. He will nurse his own heart break himself. But probably his wife, he has to nurse it with him because you know some of these men, when things begin to happen to them from outside, they'll come inside and then you, the wife, you'll be the one to actually take care of them because, well, that's your man. You can stick with him. You don't have a choice. Sometimes you say you don't have a choice, especially if it's somebody that, like Mrs. Sonwolu has said, they've been together since she was a child. And when they say behind every man there is a successful woman, she is the successful woman behind Babajite Sonwolu. And now that they are here, you think he can come from somewhere and take this man from me? Hell no. So leave him alone before I take actions against you. Hopefully, Iyaboju is going to listen if indeed she's seen Babajide Sonwolu. And if it's not true, and people are saying that she's seen Babajide Sonwolu and Sonwolu's wife did not even say anything. Well, I don't know what to say about that. But if it's true and someone whose wife did not say anything and this is an entourage and people that are close to her and close to the governor and those close to Yabo that are saying this is happening and they're trying to make Yabo Joe leave because they want to be able to eat off that cake, <sighs> God help them. Right? That is all I can say. God will help them. God will help us. God will help me. God will help everybody I like. But what do you think of this? Do you think that somehow there could be an iota of truth in everything I've just said? Do you think that somehow it is true that Iyaba Ojo is sleeping and is together with the Lagos State governor? <sighs> it is also said that the car that our daughter Priska bought was funded by the Lagos State governor. But that I choose to not believe because Priska does enough things, Priscilla, Priska, whichever one, she does enough things for herself as an influencer, as a public figure, you know, to be able to afford such lifestyle if she wants to indeed afford such lifestyle. But if it's been funded by a uh, mommy's man well good luck to her she's ripping and enjoying what it means to have a parent who is influential in this society if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section tell me what you think concerning this gist that i just dropped as a day hot and also subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do so hit notification bell so that when i have 
very hot, dazzling notes like this, you'll be one of the very first people to know about it. Hit notification bell also, like I said, share with family, friends, foes, enemies, and everybody alike. Leave your comments in the section and I will be sure to respond to anything you have to say. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Until such time that I come your way with such amazing, beautiful news, take care of yourself and bye.